everybody, it's the answer one here with another episode. We're here with uh, Panda Person, Connor, Conlamo5. Coronavirus. Not Panda Person. It's a big subject. Yes. It, it is kills going on people. In, it is going on in our own lifetime, actually. And it has canceled. Well, it didn't have canceled my friend. I can't go to my friend's birthday party because of it. Yeah. And we it's were basically. Be, it's basically been though. like. Uh, prohibiting a lot of things in the world so far. That's why everyone's going to blow it up with TNT. Oh, God. But, um, let's get this, uh, talk show started. So, Connor, how has the coronavirus been affecting you in your daily life? I mean, life? not, I mean, it made me go more insane than I have before. Because the break is retarded. I want school back. Because school is better than just the break. Hmm. Um, why is there lamb down here? Why is there lamb sauce down here? Okay, back to the point. Okay. Um, uh, I don't like the break because it's the coronavirus. It's even longer, too. Online school sucks. Yeah, it definitely sucks. Also, there's another topic in this is that um, the actual, uh, um, online school itself is getting hacked. Zoom, uh, users can't actually get hacked. Yes. And every time we have an online class, they tell us get Google Meets or something like that. Like, yeah, no. Because I can't trust it. You just can't See, trust I go stuff. on them. I go on them because I have a burner phone. And, like, I can use that. Wow, I don't have a burner phone. I'm not that criminalistic. It's not really like a burner phone, mostly like a phone with like, uh, like fake. Uh, like, it's not a fake number, it is a true number, but it doesn't have anything important on it. Like, I have an iPhone 6S, but that one's just broken, so I can't really do that. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to, like, yeah. Every time I plug it in, it turns on, then it turns off, turns on, it does that. It's pretty fun. But yeah, like, this corona thing's been getting, uh, like, really, really bad lately. Uh, scientists and doctors are saying that it's probably going to become one of the worst, uh, like, way worse than, uh, the flu. And it already is way worse than the flu, actually, percentage-wise. My dad says, just like the flu, and then, then my sister makes one joke, and then he freaks out. Pretty lit. Mm. Mm. My dad's scared of it. Rightfully so, because, like, this thing is kind of... This is, like, the first time this ever happened. Like, a pandemic being kept inside your house, making, like, uh, stay at home. Like, pandemics haven't gone in this far. There have been pandemics before, but it hasn't gone into self-quarantine. It hasn't gone to that. The thing is, who... In the rightful world, we'll eat a bat. It's actually, uh, bat soup, I think. It was, like, bat soup. Yeah, there was bat soup in China, but that they said that never caused it. There was an old lady, supposedly, ate a bat. I don't know why. China just makes no sense. They eat everything they see. <laughs> like, for real. Don't, don't say what I think you're gonna say, because I don't want to get fucking roasted in the comments here, man. I'm not. All right, but yeah, yeah, um, this is the first time, like, in, I, in, like, a first time in a while that has, it, that has been a, uh, like, a pandemic that has caused people to stay at home, and it's getting pretty stressful, like, it stopped me from having a good birthday, it's, like, stopped school for a long time, it's gonna stop school probably for the rest of the year, if it keeps getting bad, but, um, coronavirus really is kind of getting bad, and we didn't, as Americans, we didn't take the necessary precautions to prevent it, uh, pe even people now, like, are still staying in, or out, like, going out, like, having fun, living their lives, but they don't realize that if they get it, it doesn't show symptoms till two weeks after you have it. 
and like you can spread it during those two weeks so if you go to your grandma's and you have coronavirus or COVID-19 she um, did yeah she's gonna get it most likely she's gonna die from that if you go to your uncle's house with uh his who's pretty old with his kids who have asthma problems or medical problems or or already or already like susceptible like already have like a sickness or illness they're all gonna get corona and, and they and they'll have to get rest to the er and then they'll have to live through the hell of the er and trump isn't doing enough like um he's not doing enough to help hospitals resupply and help uh prevent coronavirus he he did say once like to stay like uh, stay at home he suggested it but he's not fully in it like he's not fully supporting stay at home because he doesn't even care about this can you toss me down a chest and not chickens or lamb <laughs> sure i'll toss you down uh a chest but this whole corona thing is really weird on the populace as a, as a whole because it's like new to everybody like nobody's had this before like and but it's gonna be like Ebola how Ebola was a big thing in 2016 now it's not it wasn't even big in uh, the US it didn't the US well, I mean, people, yeah, I was in Africa the US like, people like that. the US people didn't let that happen to us because we were actually uh, safe about it yeah I'm not African-American I'm sorry god here you're, you're an asshole Let's put all this junk inside this truck. But, Not that. But, um, this corona thing is actually getting pretty serious now. So, we have to wait to see what's in store for us and hope to God that it it doesn't get worse. Because if, if, if the rate is going to keep going as is, there's probably, by the end of this year, there's probably going to be millions hospitalized thousands and hundreds of thousands dead and I'm not exaggerating I'm actually under exaggerating Dang. yeah like this thing's actually pretty scary and um, like the coronavirus leaves you susceptible to other illnesses like the flu or um, the common cold like it at least is susceptible to other illnesses so it's a pretty serious thing and nobody's really taking uh necessary precautions except if your state has already issued stay at home law like we're not we we can't fully enforce the laws like because we're not a communistic country we are a democracy full of idi idiotic uh idiotic people who don't listen to the law because that's what they do they don't listen and that's going to be our downfall I do agree with that you see those people like those college students staying at those uh, beaches they're closing down beaches they're closing down all non-essential uh, places but still um Still, people are still keeping their so their stores open, not caring about their workers or what this COVID-19 is, just caring about the money that's going to go into their pockets. People are still going to churches. Did you hear about, like, the mega church that uh, opened, like, a few days or a few weeks ago? And, like, what? the person who hosted the event, like, um, got arrested. Yeah. <laughs> just for, uh, because, like, there's that place had a stay at home order and he in deliberately ignored the stay at home order and risked thousands of people lives lives and probably even uh tens of thousands of people's lives because you could spread it in those two weeks mm -hmm. and maybe even millions of people's lives he affected just because he wanted to get a few extra dollars in his pocket some people gotta be greedy yeah and he's paying he's doing the time now and because people are so ignorant about this ignorant is bliss sure it's complete bliss 
but it could end up to people dying. Mm-hmm. Talk show hosts uh, usually do this thing, um, like uh, they go up to random people in their in the state that they host a talk show, and ask them questions like, "Who's the vice president?" And people can't answer that. Some people can't answer that. Connor, who's the vice president of the United States? I don't care about politics. President, Vice President Mike Pence, who is the... Oh, yeah, the one that wants to mix the, the little memes. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, know, I know him. He, uh, he, um, he uh, is anti-LGBTQ+. Mm-hmm. A lot of memes about that. It's pretty funny memes, too. I completely support LGBTQ+, um, but I am not uh, gay uh, or trans. I'm none of those. I just support the movement because it's a noble movement. People should be happy li- living a life that they want to live. They shouldn't be able to marry anybody they want to marry. They should choose whatever gender they want to be. And they Yeah. Should- but uh, that's not the topic of today's video. Today's yeah. video is Corona, so let's continue on with Corona. Um, how has this affected your mental your mental status so far? The reach, it's I don't I don't it just makes me feel even more retarded. I'm getting more retarded by the second. I stay inside my house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm thinking, uh, I've seen, like, pictures of Italy and, like, their hospitals and being completely full, people sleeping on the floors of the hospital hallways, like, and that's gonna become us if Trump doesn't do something about this, uh, this shortage and supplies and shortage and, like, uh, medical supplies for, uh, hospitals, because... If we do not have the necessary supplies, we won't be able to support the people on the front lines, and those people are the, like, our nurses and doctors who are working every day to help prevent and help uh, figure out a solution to, like, uh, uh, antibiotic to help uh, against coronavirus. Mm-hmm. The the recent thing that's happened in the White House uh, Congress, like, or uh, can um, talk that happens every single day now. Um, they're showing that the that the statistics and the thing that they try to do to prevent uh, corona spreading has it's not working. It's not it's not working. So people people and Trump went after the person who said that and could have elaborated, could have like stated, "Hey, people, stay at home." No, he just kept dissing. Um, uh, the democratic uh, governors, congressmen, and other people because he can. Because he sees this as an opportunity. And he worried about the economy thinking that will help his presidency, but he hasn't truly done anything to prevent corona spread, spread which will definitely help his um, presidency. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ugh, yawn. Well, you gotta add that yawn to it. Yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes yawn. talk in the third person. <laughs> it's a thick idea. I, I don't sit know there, why. stare. Honestly, this is the thing I do. It's weird. Like I don't go full third person. I just go like semi third person. I'm like, like if I cough, I say cough. If I, I like, I narrate myself when I do weird noises. That's insane. Uh, uh, yawn. But going back on to what we were saying earlier, um... <laughs> they broke. <laughs> Can I get rid of that torch and move it? I can't. Please. I can't. Please. Just drop them t- down there. I don't want to take fall damage. Oh, well then, don't take fall damage. Oh my god. Dang it. But, um... 
This is a nine by nine. Caught. You said nine by nine. I said nine each direction. You said nine each direction. The nine. You said how much do you want to go up? You said nine by nine. Is it? You know, this you know what? This specific. works. This actually works better because it gives us more room. <sighs> Still, fucking dumbass. You just didn't. You said how much? I said. So I have to go nine, nine, Let's get back nine on blocks, this. nine do you, directions. Do you want to, uh, do you want to yes. ask, do you want to ask, uh, nine. something, by nine. the way? Do you have anything to, like, elaborate on your, uh, view on this corona thing? Um. Uh. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but, like, since we're not a communist country, we can't completely outlaw people um, like China's doing, because China was able to do that, and since they're a communistic country, they can force people to stay inside their house. But since we're not, our dumb American brethren uh, still continue to leave their houses idiotically. But it's not a good thing. It's really not a good thing. Very, very bad thing. Yep. So, uh, what we advise you people is to stay inside, to stay inside unless absolutely necessary. When you get your groceries, if it's produce, uh, or vegetation, f any type of food, just kind of that you can rinse off, rinse it off. Or after you, you're done eating, wash your hands. And if you have to go to a birthday party, go to the birthday party. Don't go to it. the birthday party. <laughs> You'll miss every single thing that happens there and you'll probably get sad after that moment even if you have a girlfriend i have a girlfriend and i'm suffering from uh not being able to see her and so go we, see her we're... go stalk her no and like don't don't go to their houses don't go to your friends houses to hang out because like this thing is actually very serious because it, it's like a chain reaction let's say i have coronavirus i go to my friend's house then they Which have corona. Mean. Their whole family has corona. Then they go to another friend's house. And then they go to another friend's house. Then all those families go to their grandparents' houses. And then their uncle's houses with, like I said, uh, old uncle, probably uh, children with also like health issues. Then they go to their aunt's house. Their aunts ha go to their other grandmas and grandparents' houses. They go to... Uh, the next door neighbor, Susie, the old grandma, and she gets coronavirus. Dead. Susie goes. Susie goes to the nursery home with a bunch of old people. They Dead. all have coronavirus. See, it's a chain reaction that can lead to millions and millions of people getting affected. And what people aren't worrying about is that this chain reaction is a thing. And. Um, I'm worried that people will, will end up uh, will end up uh, not paying attention <laughs> until uh, their whole family gets affected. Like if their grandma, d their grandmother dies from coronavirus, and then by that point, it's already too late. You can't prevent it anymore, and it's already affected everybody. Then dead. So I advise you, everybody, to stay inside, wash your hands, social distancing, go outside for exercise. Actually, that's actually a very um like thing. But social distancing. Don't go near people. Don't like unless they have free candy in their van. Then that's that's a heck of yes. Definitely not. That's a different. That's a different video topic. Okay, that's gonna be uh child uh predators and sex trafficking and uh slavery because that still goes on today or uh slavery in the 2000s not in the 1900s uh we'll go against uh we'll see we'll talk about slavery in the 1900s and 1800s as well as segregation in that video we'll also be talking about the uh the um great depression the great recession but this was just a starter episode guys i'll see you all in the next one uh, do you want to say anything else about coronavirus? Um...
if your friend's having a birthday party, you're not gonna miss it because you're gonna miss something really big, and that's that's on period. So go. Don't listen to him. Um, remember, stay inside, social distancing. See you all in the next one. Bye.